Hey everyone, this is Tech Guy 10210, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an application which causes command prompt windows to pop up on your computer repeatedly. Now, all you have to do is go to Notepad to create your batch file. Now, here I have in Notepad these three lines, and that's all it is. That's all you have to copy. Now, I'll be putting this in the video description down at the bottom of the video, so go ahead and copy and paste that. And uh, once you have it copied and pasted, go to File. Save as. I'm just going to save it on my desktop for now. I'm going to title it prank. And here's the important part. You have to type .bat at the end to make it a batch file. So once you've named it and typed .bat, go ahead and press save. This should come up right here. Yep. Now to make this look more realistic, make it look like someone will click on it, you're going to want to right click, create shortcut, and you should get your shortcut right here. Now to make this look like Internet Explorer, for example, you're going to want to rename it. So right click, rename, type Internet Explorer. Alright. Now what you want to do is change the icon so it looks exactly like it. So right click once more, go to properties, and then go to change icon in the shortcut tab. And then once you get this list, just scroll through until you find an icon that looks like Internet Explorer. Okay, so once you find one, click on it, highlight it, and press OK. And then press OK once more. And as you can see, it looks exactly like Internet Explorer. Now I'm not going to start this and show you what it looks like, because once it starts, there's no way of stopping it. This is a program that will repeatedly open command prompt windows until it will either use up all of your computer's resources and cause it to crash, or you have to manually turn off your computer by holding down the power button. So that's one thing to keep in mind when doing this prank, is to not accidentally open this yourself, otherwise you might risk losing data and causing you to restart your computer. Alright, so this has been a quick tutorial, I hope you liked it. Any questions or comments, leave a comment down at the bottom of the video or send me a message either through YouTube or Yahoo. My email is techguy10210 at yahoo.com. If you'd like to see something else, please send me a request either through video or comment or send me a message. If you like this video, please subscribe and check out my channel. Thanks, guys.